What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and today we're here with a video from a channel called from a channel from Camp Run. Just first time, first time reaction to this, and this is Black YouTube has gotten even worse now. Hey, as a black content creator myself, I had to check this out because. Sorry, because let's be honest, nine times out of ten with certain black creators and such, it's basically like this. My take on this is when it comes to black YouTube creators, sometimes you'll get the good versions, like the ones who actually want to put out good content and such, and then there might be some, well, let's just say you keep that to the to yourselves and such not saying it's explicit or anything but sometimes might look a little questionable so we about to check this out shout out to Cameron hopefully he he's okay with me reacting to this and make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get into this my little sister got a BBL asking homeless people freaky questions. Little RT 20v1. This is actually getting out of hand. A few months ago, I dropped a video titled The Problem with Black YouTube. And in that video, I basically talked about how I feel like there's two types of black content creators. One kind cares about their content and Shout what they Corey. actually put out on the internet. And the other kind basically just trend hops yeah, and spams one. the most horniest content possible. All the public interview and like 20v1 spamming YouTube. YouTubers and that video yeah I've like most of the times from the instant with that pop my balloon challenge stuff and like I said even though with the one with the lady and such she with her hers is okay but then I see other ones of that and it's more of like a <laughs> real hood version of that you can say <laughs> so yeah, I kind of see what he's getting at. Where it's just gotten a lot of mixed feedback, you know. Some people said that I was spitting in that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And then some people thought that what I was saying was kind of a, a, a little Uncle Ruckusy. Some people were even saying that I wasn't the best spokesperson for this because I speak proper and I sound white, even though I. Yeah, for them type of people, they can. If you're one of those people who's saying that something is wrong with you, yeah, like, so, cause you want, you, you want, you basically want to stay ratchet. <laughs> Look, I can get ghetto with the, it's basically like this. I know when and where to always want to have fun and be my crazy self, be my fun self. And when it's time for me to actually try to speak something. Especially if I'm doing something like this, if I'm doing a reaction like this and such, why would I always just always just talk ghetto all the? If I'm just talking randomly, if I just basically don't actually speak like I've speaking before, like actually speak good and such, like I've never get that before. So for those who actually are like that, something wrong with you. Just saying that video. A lot of people even gave me a lot of props for speaking up about this issue. And then some people thought that what I was saying was kind of a, a, a little Uncle Ruckusy. Some people were even saying that Uncle I wasn't Ruckus. the best spokesperson for Not this because I speak proper and I sound white. Even though, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure last time I checked, I'm black. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I guess I got to sound black as well. I don't know how a black person is supposed to sound, but y'all tell me in the comments yeah, section like below. Overall, there was a lot of mixed feedback with that video. And in today's video, I actually wanted to return to that topic topic of black youtube once again because i've been seeing some things and i'm not gonna lie it's low-key getting insane there. starting with these 20 v1s now these 20 v1s yeah. they were pretty popular like six seven months ago and they're still pretty popular till today if you're unfamiliar <laughs> with the 20 v1 i mean basically it's one person versus 20 other people and they just speed date each person each round that's pretty much it yeah. now like i said these 20 v1s are still popular till this day and nothing's really changed with these except for instead of using adults they are now using children as you guys saw yeah, in the I've seen intro. this one. Yes, there was a creator out here who created a 20v1 with little art. Yeah, and the thing is I haven't watched that fully one, 
but I seen it and I'm like and there was this one particular clip where if he has it in here you're gonna see like the guy who hosted this shit something wrong with him the fact that he had a little kids there. Year old rapper. If that is not insane, I don't know what is. I genuinely don't. Instead of using Lil RT as a side character like that one guy did, he's now upgraded to a main character, and they got this man speed dating children. But yeah, that's like the only changes they've made with these 20 v ones. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. Still scamming their fans with the Cash App link in the description, claiming that you're gonna make $750, and we already know how that goes. Cash App is not giving you $750 for free that just doesn't yeah that you would never see that happen you would ne if y'all if anybody who was ever click a link hold on let me see that link again if anybody has ever clicked a link like this and think they actually gonna get a cash app of $750 or whatever other type or whatever amount of money they will put there if anyhow you think that, you stupid. You is stupid for actually clicking that. Clicking on that. Cause y'all just got scammed like a mother. Come on now. Which which cash app you know is just gonna automatically give you seven hundred and fifty dollars? Boy, you must be stupid and like I'm gonna fifty dollars and we already know how that goes. Cash app is not giving you seven hundred fifty dollars for free. That just doesn't make nah. sense. That's a terrible business move. They're still using the exact same intros as one another, and they're also still using the exact same profile pictures as one another. Like there's literally zero creativity when it comes to these 20v1 tubers. Now, one specific 20v1 that I really want to talk about right now because I I feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little RT 20v1. A few weeks ago, I was scrolling on Twitter. Just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus lil rt it's in atlanta and i also saw that reddit logo in the bottom right i don't know what reddit has to do mm. with this but i just looked at it yeah, and i thought it was hell? a troll but then about a week ago i was scrolling through twitter again and hey, i seen a clip pops. from this 20v1 and when i tell you i was shocked hey hey what's your name Tayden. what's your favorite color blue Okay, all right, Nick. Now this video was made by a YouTuber by the name of Mike Adelabu, who's pretty much another variant of like No Love Mar, Ryan with the sauce, all those cornball 20v1 tubers. A majority <laughs> of his content just Damn. revolve around 20v1s. Like if we look at his last 12 videos, you can see that he did nothing else but 20v1s. And before the 20v1s, this man was basically just doing the find your matches and putting his friends <laughs> on freaky block. I mean, hey, I'm not, look, I'm not saying if it's corny or ever, but all I'm saying is if it getting you up to over a hundred K views, hey, <laughs> go with the flow, go with it. I just, but hey, it is what it is. You think so call it, he's saying it's corny, me? It depends, it's basically, it depends on how the video looks. Cause if it's just, if it just straight up look corny as hell, then yes, corny as hell. But if it's actually like fire and such, then hey, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, hey, they get their bags, so who am I to stop them? Go ahead. Woman Ryan Bates, like, like, he was basically just doing this cornball content, pretty much. And I guess 20v1s got super boring, so he just had to spice it up by adding children to the mix. You may be thinking like, oh, Cam, you might weird. be overreacting, you know? Maybe this 20v1 nah. isn't that bad. No, it's exactly what you think. This is a children's dating show. This man literally held a children's Rizzing competition. This is not the TikTok Riz party. This is the YouTube kids Riz party. None yeah, of these like... kids are over the age of 13 years old. What was going through this man's head when he was thinking of this video man 20 v ones are getting dead man let's add some children to the mix like bro yeah which is crazy heck? what's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like lil rt was there to find friends when we know the true intentions of this like i said this is a children's dating show this freaky ass cornball got a room full yeah. of kids to try and riz up lil rt is that not weird i want to know what adults weird. allowed their kids to get on this yeah. video i genuinely want to know like hell? this is actually insane yeah who the adults who actually signed off on saying you know what let me put my kid on this let him sh like what look whoever you sometimes with certain parents 
y'all need to check yourself. Because what in the actual mm, is wrong with y'all? Why the hell would you... Most ki most little pit... Look, let me speak in my patois for a little minute. Most little pit near for staying at school or staying at them yard and so. Not pan African TV show. Not pan African game show where they might want to get with. I have another but You know what? Why make a grown man want to raise them up and so with other people? You know what? Let me tap me nice. Let me watch this scene. I'm sorry, I had to speak in my part of for this because I'm like, what the heck is going on with this? That's like kind of weird. Stick it to grown adults. Why the hell you have little kids on that show? Little kids not supposed to be knowing about this shit. When he was thinking of this video, man, 20v1s are getting dead, man. Let's add some children to the mix. Like, bro, what the heck? What's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends. When find we friends. know the true really? intentions of this, like I said, this is it's a, a children's dating show. Dating show. This freaky ass cornball got a room full of kids to try and raise up Lil RT. Is that not weird? I want to know what Very adults weird. allowed their kids to get on this video. I genuinely want to know. Like, this is actually insane. Oh, shit. Excuse me? Yeah, that was the clip I was talking about. This nigga saying, oh, like what? Nigga, what? What you mean, ooh? Yeah, I beg your part. I beg your pardon? What you mean, ooh? Oh. Nigga, I beg your pardon. Like, bro, just let these kids be kids. Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That is weird. Yeah, like, Especially 20v1s. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited yeah, like, through the black community. Ever since when he... It's basically like this. Ever since when he popped out with that song of his... What was it? 60 miles or so? Bro, I don't know. But this nigga has been used everywhere since when he popped up with that. And it's cr and all I'm saying is, even if his pair, Because most people were like saying about this ain't right. Like what the heck is going on and such. Why are we using this little kid everywhere they go and such. Like bro what? I'm sorry. You can. And look I know I'm young. I'm 24. But even, even though I'm not old. Some would think I'm old or think I'm like a Uncle Ruckus or whatever, but nigga I don't care if I'm famous or not. I'm not about to use a little kid for views like that especially when nigga Basically, I'm not using no little kid for no damn. I'm not exploiting no little kid for views. No way. No how like what? has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community. Y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child, bruh. Why do exactly. we need videos of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT being on a 20v1? Nobody needs this content. What's crazy is at the end of this Lil RT 20v1, this man has the audacity to say, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one or y'all just talk to me chat let me know man i just held the latest dating show for children man if y'all want another one make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section tag little timmy tag your little sister little any timmy kids now. i want them all like dog read hey the yo room. nobody wants another little rt 20v1 or another children's dating show you know this video yeah, like, is bad when this man turned off the entire yeah, comment like, section yeah that's when you know because i guarantee you if he would have turned if those comments weren't would have turned off i guarantee you they was roasting this nigga and you know what's so crazy he didn't put that because you know that little extension where you can put the dislike for YouTube back on all you gotta do is go to Google go to Chrome website store find it put that bitch on and you're gonna see the dislikes and I guarantee you these dislikes are probably like freaking um boy if I you know what Hold on. What's his damn? What was his name? Mike Alibu or whatever? Hold on. Let me go look at him. I'm gonna look it up on my phone because I guarantee. Damn, no, I can't. Actually, hold on. We gonna. Hold on. 
I'ma look this bitch up. Hold up a sec. I'ma see how much this like this motherfucker got. Cause I guarantee you it's probably big. Hold on. We gonna come back to the video. Give me a second. I wanna see how much this nigga got. What's his name? Mike Alabu or whatever his name was. Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Stick around with me, y'all. Stick around with me, cause I guarantee you. Where was it? This one? Yeah, that's him, right? Um, who was, where is it? Cause I guarantee. Let me see. I'ma just look at the. Cause I want to see how much. Yep, I was right. Look at the dislikes. Look at the dislikes. 246k dislikes and only 55k likes. And this, mind you, this was a month ago. Or two and two months ago. No, yeah, a month ago. July 22nd, 2022. 2024, sorry. This was a month ago. What I told you. <laughs> you see them dislikes. Yeah, ah, boy. If he didn't turn off them comments, they was probably roasting this nigga. You see the dislikes? God damn. Yeah, I figured. Because nigga, <laughs> ain't no way you going to think that you just going to... You think you not gonna get all? If wasn't if not roasted, you was not gonna get dislike from this shit. Come on now, come on now. You ain't slick, nigga. This video is bad. When this man turned off the entire comment section, this man probably got tons of hate for this. And I'm not gonna lie, this obviously hate is justified. And if you thought that was bad, well, let me tell you that these 20 v ones get even worse because there's actually this 20 v one with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times, and it starts oh, off yeah. as your average 20 v one that you'd see on Black YouTube. But then halfway through, Finesse Two Times' son came in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women, and the way that these women and finesse two times talk right in front of this child is actually weird it, it's it's genuinely disgusting so after you not do you stay hard or you get soft that junk get soft i ain't gonna lie but i'm gonna go for about five minutes for that johnny for round two you Got might not me. take well, 40 minutes with me cow i'm just trying to see what's the freaky with you man one time wow yeah this is weird this is actually weird you Look, even if I'm going to talk my freakiness and such, I'm not about to talk it when there's a little kid in here. I don't care if he, even if he is my son. No, take him out. This ain't, he's not supposed to even be hearing about this shit. I don't care. I don't care if I'm a rapper or I'm what this and that and the third. Hell nah. Because ain't no way. If you, th boy. Why I think it's called grown people business? Cause it's between two grown people. As freaky and as weird it might be, still at the end of the day, this is grown people, grown bit, grown people business. Why the hell you have this little kid here listening to all this nasty shit? Yeah, you weird fool. That's weird as hell, nigga. All right. That is on weird God, as hell. Been from Atlanta, cause she married now. On God, I had a bit with Eli. Right. Yeah. My neck be got off this start sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this on me right though. Since you said when you got out, mess with some skinny girls. Right. So what would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out of my head no more, right? Cause cause what one time, right? My I was hitting the bitch from the front, right? And my my she just got the square in there with my head up. I feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face. He's not trying to hear any of that. No child is trying to hear this freaky yeah, ass like, conversation, what? especially coming from one of his own parents. This man's talking about how he be making yeah. girls squirt in front of his son. Bro, when I was young, the only thing I knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the closet. Good. Why is this exactly. man talking about how he be making women squirt in front of his son? That's insane. If one of my parents were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this, the only option I'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 <laughs> miles per hour in gta hey of course okay I, about this discuss I, I was about to say nigga <laughs> i was about to say don't go too far i was i would just straight up just leave if i hear my parents talking that well hey just saying if i heard my parents at young young age talking freaky ish like that i'm just leaving 
but guarantee you with my family we're different but no re realistically if we're if we are talking realistically if I'm a young motherfucker at like seven or six years old and I'm hearing my talk and I hear my parents talking this type of freakiness I'm exiting I'm not trying to hear all that when I'm seven hell no nah. I'd rather be one to hear about Spongebob or freaking watching Boy, I need a dinosaur or some shit rather than hearing freakiness talking between my two parents or just two grown adults. The fuck? What the hell would I want to hear that? The cliff at 300 miles per hour in GTA, of course. In GTA. You thought that it's disgusting been? hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s? What about them actually doing these sexual acts? There's literally a 20v1 with the rapper JP. And oh, yeah, this one. This man got that MW3 Oh, if yeah. you catch my drift. Basically, he was just yapping it up with these girls. Yeah, I remember. I saw, I saw like a clip on it on Instagram. If he plays it, let's just say the reference, but for my reference, let's just say she Hatua on that thing. <laughs> Shout out to the Hatua girl. <laughs> And this girl was talking about how she's got that Gawk Gawk 3000, you know? It goes crazy. So you ever had true no gag reflex or no? Of course. Yeah. I've had several. Oh, I can show you, but I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that Gawk Gawk, right? So they go to the back, and this man starts getting gawked off mid-20v1. Number one, this is disgusting, and I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates with her. And number two, the fact that all these grown men are just standing around, eavesdropping, listening to another man get his meat slurped up. It's completely odd to me. These dudes literally yeah, look like some weird. cheerleaders, bro. They're outside the door like, oh my gosh, JP. You're really getting your meat slurped off right yeah. now. Oh. Like, my nigga. Hey, it's basically like this. Me, personally, if I know my dude is gonna get his get his thing off, thing is, I'm not gonna wanna... I don't... It's not like I'm gay or anything. Let me just say that off the record. This ain't even... Because I know people are gonna say, oh, you gay with it or... This, what, why, the point is... If we know, if he knows he gonna do his thing, he gonna do his thing. I'm not gonna just stand around and just chill for it, cause I know the nigga gonna do what he wanna do. So I'ma just go somewhere else. But the fact that y'all cheering, the fact that y'all standing back there, standing at the door, he's dropping his head, like nigga, y'all children or something. Y'all grown ass man. Hold on, let me. Drop the quality down just a bit so it can go a little bit more smooth. But yeah, y'all grown ass men. That all these grown men are just standing around, eavesdropping, listening to another man get his meat slurped up. It's completely odd to me. These dudes literally look like some cheerleaders, bro. They're outside the door like, oh my gosh, JP, you're really getting your meat slurped off right now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And if you thought that, that 20v1 was bad, well, it gets even worse because there was also this other 20v1 where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants' mouths to basically show how freaky she was. Scorpio. Nah, you can do it, you can do it. What's your, November? No, or not, let her do it. He liked it. <laughs> he liked it! He's sick right, y'all, y'all. And you wonder why sometimes the black community struggles. Black Lives Matter, but sometimes, and look, I ain't gonna try to, look, one thing's for sure, I know my blackness, but the thing is, I ain't saying I'm, oh, I'm black, like, no, it ain't like that, but I know I'm black, I know what I'm, I, you ain't gotta tell me that I'm black to know I'm black, you ain't gotta tell about my blackness to know I'm black, and I'm Jamaican black, so trust me, I know my blackness, and I know me, but nigga, in a com you you always wonder why other communities like uh, the Latino community, the Jewish community, or any other minority community out there, you wonder why sometimes, not well, yeah, let me just say sometimes for now, they always are connect, always seem 
like this and sometimes the black community barely can be like this barely can be like this when they're most of the time like this straight up because when you do when you putting out shit like this and you're as a black content creator yeah hey it's all about getting hey get your money if all you want but I'm just saying this is why most of the times black people get in black people get laughed at because when you're doing shit like this even I as a black person gonna say what the fuck is wrong with y'all what's your November in fact I gotta hear this he like that <laughs> I would I tell too. You, that clip almost. Yeah, like that nigga. clip almost made me throw up. I almost, oh my, I had to stop myself right there. Seeing that clip, yeah, it's, that. it's disgusting. These 20 v ones need to stop. Like, when are we gonna wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time, you know? 20 v ones were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, when Jubilee yeah. was doing them. But do we mm. really gotta continue to make these? You white room warriors need to stop. This content is just bottom of the barrel. Can, can we think of something else? Oh wait, we did think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're up oh, yeah, there, pop the balloon. <laughs> from just when you thought the and yeah with boy just when you thought though 20 v ones were something else because even like you said even with the side men and then jubilee doing it at least with them two they were actually entertaining and actually funny well mostly the side men out from the certain times i'll be watching from abba and preach from their reactions from it sometimes they be iffy wishy-washy sometimes but at least with the Simon ones that I've watched from other reactors or watched by myself, they're actually funny. But these niggas here with the 20 v ones, y'all something else. But like he said, just when you think it couldn't get any worse, it did. The freaking pop the balloon ones. Like brother, <laughs> have these gone? The these went crazy need to stop this content is just bottom of the barrel can can we think of something else oh wait we did think of something else pop the, pop balloon. the balloon if you're unfamiliar with pop the balloon basically it's like the new 20 v ones and how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand and each round a person comes out and if a person with the balloon likes you, then they don't pop the balloon. But if they don't like you, then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it. Now I will say, I did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments in there. Like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the 4th of July. All right, so like, um, ladies, how y'all feeling based on- Damn, damn, Ooh, damn, this- fuck? Yeah, that nigga. <laughs> hold on, let me take my- Let me take my bro here, hold on. But yeah, that nigga, <laughs> all of them just pop, 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 <laughs> pop that balloon on that nigga. <laughs> like, I'm, look, I'm, so, and crazy enough, this nigga now has, like, doing, like, certain mukbang type challenges or some shit. No, what his name? No Neck J or something? Yeah, it's crazy that this nigga, <laughs> I mean, look, I ain't trying to mock us, I ain't trying to mock somebody who has that type of, has body Disabilities or whatever like that and such, but I'm just saying my nigga One of the I remember seeing that clip one of the girls one of the girls in that video say he sees him like the the homie just a bro <laughs> Not even in like no relation type shit. Just a just a bro Dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the just, 4th of July Wait for it Ladies, how y'all feeling based on bop, 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 bop. What the fuck? Like that is peak comedy. Or when that one just who looked like a ninja turtle was just cooking all the women on there. Your name and This nigga here though. <laughs> just when you thought that video with the no neck nigga was crazy, this nigga here. Boy was <laughs> motherfuckers calling him a ninja turtle. Freaking and boy was people roasting this nigga. Cause let's be honest, this nigga was sassy from the start. Let's just say that. 
Trust me, everybody was roasting this motherfucker. Age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. That was pretty funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox. And that's not Roblox. even the craziest what part. The? the craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this is getting out of hand, bruh. These white rooms need to what be put fuck? to an end, dog. Whoever has a hold of these white rooms, they gotta start charging more. They gotta start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money. Because if I see one more video in a white room, I'm actually going to flip. Especially these blind dates. I seen a dude doing blind dating based off baby oh, pictures. Yeah. Is that not weird, bro? Especially coming from these... Fr Why would you... Eat? I'm, well, actually... But I did... But the thing is, with Jubilee, that when they did it, it was more of like a glow up and such, where... You see how the person was as like a teenager or so, and then when you when they get rejected, when you reveal how they look, they actually. Hey, I remember watching one video from Abba and Preach when they was doing one, and it was a black guy. Hey, no homo, no diddy or anything. But when he got rejected, and when he looked at first, he had nerdy glasses and such. Hey, no homo. But when the reveal came out, whoo boy, did that nigga, boy, <laughs> hey, like I say, I ain't gay or nothing, <laughs> no homo, but that nigga freaking, that nigga had a glow up like no other, <laughs> trust me, go find that video of Ab, even if it's Abra and Preach doing the reaction, but go find that video, if you've watched that video, you know what I'm talking about. That nigga was a glow up. That nigga got a glow up like no other. <laughs> Freaky like ass channels? That's even weirder. There are so many creative things you can do on YouTube. And you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of? That is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we know one thing about Twitch, they could not give a singular F about freakiness on their platform. Twitch would let a woman... Whether it's Twitch... Kick, rumble, trust me, and great boy, but somehow I will be, but somehow my channel will get, but somehow if anyhow I react to something, my channel will get a strike for me just reacting to something, but yet these motherfuckers can be doing some crazy shit like this, where it involves kids and shit. And some type of freaky. Okay, okay. Sometimes YouTube use something else. Not even just YouTube, black YouTube. Like, and the crazy thing is, I've never even he even heard of this side of YouTube. Honestly, the only sites I've only watched in my time when I'm watching YouTube was mostly video. Was always like gaming content creators. And. Who else? Reactors. Those were the, those were my section of my YouTube. That's the section of YouTube I've watched for all my years of watching YouTube. Much so that whenever I, most likely the reactors, because as you see, because of them, I became a reactor. So yeah, that was the only side of YouTube I've watched. I have never heard of this black you this side of black YouTube and such. So yeah. <laughs> That's why I keep to myself, because I would never think they would do some crazy shit like this. Baby pictures is the best you can think of. That is insane. What's crazy is this freakiness on black YouTube is also transitioning over to Twitch. And if we know one thing about Twitch, they could they not give a, a singular F about freakiness on their platform. Twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream. Twitch could not care less. That being said, a little bit ago, Deshay Frost, a large black content creator, also former actor, was getting that MW3 dome live on stream for content. Oh my god. She tracing my shit. And what's crazy is, this isn't even this man's first time, because he's done it before. Oh, Ruby, he... 
You who? Ruby Heat. Like Miami Heat. Ruby Heat. Ruby. That's your first name? Like all together Ruby Heat? That's my stage name. Stage. What's your real? I want to know your real name. I like really want to get to know you. What's your real name? Bryson. Caitlin. Like Bryson. Caitlin. Yo, I saw that. Bryson Caitlin. <laughs> All right, so look, if you was to describe yourself as a Halloween candy, what would you be? Oh, that's good. What is it with these dudes getting the dome midstream slash mid recording? Like, is the dome that necessary where you need to get it mid recording session or stream? Like, hey, what can I say? N niggas gonna be niggas. <laughs> like, can you what else can you say? Niggas gonna be niggas. What, how necessary is the dome? That's all I want to know. It's, bro, it's sounds, crazy. That sounds crazy. Wait, that sounds insane. Now, am I surprised that Deshae Frost is getting dome midstream? Not at all. Because this is the same man that made a video about his little sister getting a BBL. And also the same guy who made a video basically acting like he walked in on his mom creating freaky content. And I say acting because the video is obviously fake. This feel hella good though. What? Bro, what? Oh, what the what doing, fuck is bro? going on, bro? I mean, what is going on? You told everybody to be upstairs, but we're recording, we're doing something, bro. You told me to come, mom, you told me to come over here. Bro, you told me to come over here. You told me to come over here and get some food. And if you thought that the freakiness from the Shade Diddy stops right there, well, we're just getting started because this freakiness continues. You got this man falling on a woman's butt on stream. You got this man biting on a woman's butt. Ah, why are you taking so long? <laughs> oh wait, don't bite me hard. Nah, nah, nah. nah. They're gonna flip this, but fuck, I'm good for it. Ah, that bitch tastes good. You got this man recording a half-naked woman running across the street, and then you also got this man forcefully humping a woman on Kai Sinat's stream. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Why is this man so freaky? The Shea Frost, yeah, you yo. need to be neutered, bro. This man yeah, reminds me of one of those this dogs down. that just hump everything. Why is this just man spray so him horny, down. bro? This man is the... Spray this nigga down with the hose. That's what you gotta do. Get the hose and spray this nigga down. God damn. I know, look. I've, all, I've said this to myself. I'll admit it. I have a... We all have a freaky side of us, right? A kinky side of us, right? But we sometimes know how to control it. This nigga can't control it for shit. This nigga biting the booty. This nigga accidentally hit, get hit in the booty in the head. Like, nigga getting dome in the middle of a stream. Nigga getting top from the middle of a stream. And in a recording video. Like, nigga, what the? And somehow, you know what? I ain't talking no more. Let me just let him end it off. If a bag of flour had a BBL, I'm convinced that Deshae Frost is crushing that in a heartbeat. No questions asked. That nigga, that nigga gonna hump it. <laughs> if the if a freaking bag of flour has a BBL, that I wouldn't expect that nigga to go freaking pump this shit. <laughs> I find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows, getting dome on stream, and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single video. Like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop. What is the point of having little RT on a dating show? Who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes? And nah. also the sexualization- Nah my boy. Cameron, if you see, if you're seeing my reaction, if you have, if you're doing your videos on Google Chrome, if you're doing it off Google Chrome, like I said at the, like I said earlier in this video, go click, go find YouTube, return YouTube dislike on the, on Chrome web, on the Chrome web store. Trust me. Hell, you even saw me do it. It ain't got. You don't only just got 48 likes, 48k likes. Trust me, you saw the, you saw it at the start of this. You saw it earlier than you saw it earlier in this video.
foundation of all this Boy. content. Why does it always have to be? Granted, granted, this this video was like almost a two and a half, two week, almost a week and a half ago. So he didn't, maybe he didn't know by then. But I guarantee you now, if he's what, if you're watching this, my dude, trust me, it's worse. <laughs> freaky or why does it always have to have these like weird twists like i said there's many phenomenal black content creators out there like look at this hey shout out hold on run it like for it real always have to have these like weird twists like i said there's many hey like look look at this shit this is way more like shout out to freaking amp shout out to K ksi and his brother shout out to freaking rdc world i forgot what his name was i've always seen his face but i forgot what his name is but these are examples of how really a black community black communities are so black com content creators are supposed to be actually funny actually good and not being corny or weird as hell that's how this that these i don't know about him right i don't know about him in particular but these are but basic but even so with him these are so these are what's supposed to be how the black content creators supposed to be like so i don't know why those i don't know why it's like that but the phenomenal yeah. black content creators out there but the ones that aren't phenomenal literally are just terrible but that's just my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate you make sure to join the discord link in the description make sure to follow my twitch at twitch cameron wik if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video on black youtube it'll be right up here on the screen all that being said thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out hey shout out to cameron but yeah, sometimes, let me make sure I give this man a like. But yeah, sometimes the black community needs to know when to cut their shit out. Just basically, you wonder why sometimes, like I said earlier in the video, and look, I know y'all going to take about, oh, what, what, I'm an Uncle Ruckus or whatever, motherfucker, at the end of the day. I don't know you you don't know me so this is my opinion and I'm and if you can and you can't stop me from saying my opinion cuz I'm also a black person and I'll say when it comes to certain black creator black content creators like the ones he just showed me cuz like I said I just like I said earlier I never even knew about this side of YouTube it's most explicitly most specifically black YouTube but when I'm looking at it from when I saw clips of it on Instagram, or not even on Instagram, not even mostly on Instagram, on TikTok, I see this shit. And now with this, yeah, this just shows me like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with the community? But hey, shout out to Cameron. Hopefully he sees this reaction and hopefully he agrees with my take. And hey, I agree with his takes on this shit. But yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And let me know your takes on this. If you agree with these, leave. if you agree with my takes during this, leave a like on this video and subscribe. If you don't, hey, it is what it is. At least let me know in the comments below what's your take on this and such. But it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.